Okay, guys, I have been in this field for a while, and I recently saw a repeat patient who I previously saw when she was 17. She came to see me at 17 with primary amenorrhea, meaning not having a period, and we actually found out that she was an ovarian failure. So at a very young age, I had to tell her that she was out of eggs, was never going to have eggs, and we replaced her hormones, and there's a very specific way to do this so that she could go and be happy and live a life. And then I recently saw her now eight years later and she's married and ready to start on her family with donor eggs and just really coming full circle. It just reminded me how these small interactions you have can have a really lasting impact. She does not live here anymore, but she still sought care so that I could take care of her. And just a reminder that these things like not having a period are always worth investigating.